Hello guys, in this video I will show you a repository pattern example in Laravel, a good example because I see a lot of bad examples of how people try to use repositories in Laravel, so I think I found in my opinion a good example in the package metrics by Steve Bauman, which I reviewed recently on this channel. If you haven't watched that video, I will link that in the description below. So we'll take a look at this example with array metric repository. But for the context, a backstory is that repository pattern was really popular in Laravel like 10 years ago, in Laravel 4 and 5 days. It was almost a preferable way to add a repository on top of Eloquent. So you can find these examples online. I found one of them on Twilio blog. This is from 2021. And this is, in my opinion, not the best way to use the repositories. So you create the repository on top of eloquent model for example order is the model then you create the interface abstracting basically all the eloquent operations and maybe some scope on top or custom methods then you create the repository that implements that interface inside of that repository you implement well eloquent methods and then in your controller you use that interface add the repository here and then in all those controller methods you work with repository so in my opinion this use case is an overkill and i even have a video on my channel explaining why with another example so if you search repository on laravel daily there's a video pretty popular 84,000 views why not use repository pattern and i explain something similar to this example so if you have just eloquent model you add two layers on top which is repository and interface with what benefit exactly with potentially replacing the repository that implements the same interface in the future this is primary use case of repository pattern in general implementing interface with two or more classes repositories implementing that interface so you could easily replace one repository with another repository in this case you have one order repository and potentially you would replace it with what exactly so in the binding in the in this case repository service provider you just bind the interface to a specific repository no more logic maybe in the future you would have i don't know some specific order repository implementing the same interface so this is in my opinion an example of trying to force the pattern without the real benefit it's like trying to use laravel modules or ddd just because you want to use that but you don't know why exactly and what benefit it will bring in the future and this kind of mini rant was all to explain the good example in the metrics package so this is where we get back to steve bauman's code with metrics package and here we have array metric repository implementing general metric repository with methods add all and flush if we take a look at that metric repository the general it's all in one folder in this case metric repository is an interface defining those methods and then there's another repository class implementing the same interface in fact i would rename to be honest interface to metric repository interface with a suffix because it was hard to navigate between the files but there's another redis metric repository implementing the same metric repository interface so in this case for redis it implements the same methods add all and flush and also adds a few more but for redis specifically if we read the official documentation of that metrics package using the redis driver it's configurable so basically the users of the package can switch between one repository or another repository under the hood but they do that configuration in the public config by defining the driver so if we look at the service provider official service provider of that package this is the main logic of those repositories we're binding the repository to specific repository class depending on the config value of metrics driver and this is the usage of repository pattern i see quite often in laravel packages not in laravel projects because packages well by definition they are configurable they should be configurable quite a lot from the public config and then what's inside it's kind of a black box which often contains repositories inter replacing each other 
So yeah, I just wanted to shoot this quick video to show this, in my opinion, good example. But also, of course, we can discuss, do you have any other good examples of using repository patterns? Can you describe in the comments below? Or maybe I'm wrong with my opinion? Of course, we can discuss. And I also express my opinion and my practice over the years in the course, how to structure Laravel projects, where I don't talk about repositories because this is not my favorite pattern, but I'm just generally running through various options, how to offload the logic from Laravel controller to somewhere like service, action, events, listeners, and others. This is a pretty quick course, almost an hour, text-based, so I can recommend to read it if you're not sure where to offload that logic from the controller. I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.